project is to bring together some learning that you have about a particular thing we've studied in the class. So a couple of the key areas would have been, we did spend a lot on spreadsheets because I think they are the easiest tools to improve your efficiency and ability to solve problems in a business setting. So we focused a lot on these. Before that, we learned about what, how computers organize files. What do they model them after? Trees. Tree. Tree. So we learned about file systems, uh, files and file systems. <coughs> we also worked on databases. And we worked on web pages. And so the idea is that we take one of those areas and you develop either an idea that you started in class or that you start from scratch to develop it as something that is shareable and presentable as a packaged thing. And I'd like to show you a couple of the samples and the way that we're trying to get there. Uh, this is in lieu of a final exam because I don't do final exams anymore. Uh, I think it's much better for you to take an idea that's useful and meaningful to you, develop it into something meaningful that you can share, you can share with employers, and that is interesting to you rather than a test that I grade and you get a grade and then you run away. And it's just a number. Um, so we want to choose one of these. We want to choose a topic and we want to do some planning on what it will become by our final period date. And this is a two, uh, we do this for two reasons. The first is planning a project and then doing the project is the right order to do things. Give it, get a vision and then try to implement that vision. We also want to learn how to not be afraid of proposals. Uh, we're going to learn, <laughs> we're, <laughs> we're going to learn some basic word processing skills and uh, I want you to be able to make nice looking word documents that look like they were made professionally. And so that's the two, re two reasons we do the proposals. So let's take a peek at uh, my sample proposal and we'll also look at some proposals from other students. So uh, this talked about all of this uh, requirement, so it's got to be based on something that we've done in class. It's got to be original. Uh, you can build on other people's stuff, but I want you to do it. Uh, I roughly came up with 15 to 20 hours. That's a, that's a high end. Some people really put their whole heart and soul into it. Uh, other people are uh, a different level of engagement. There's no right way to do it. I want it to be meaningful to you. Um, so we're going to work through these steps together. Um, and let's look at what would be in the proposal. Notice I gave you a PDF of it and not a editable Word document because I want you to learn how to do it. Um, so the proposal is one page. It can be one page. This is not a, a big deal. What I want you to do is think of a title, tell me a little bit about what you plan on actually making. So you'll notice that this proposal document is telling you what to do in each section. It's not a sample, it's an instruction sheet. So. We're going to have some work time tonight to make this proposal, at least the outline, and do some thinking about it. And you'll have me here to talk through some ideas that you have. So you're going to describe why you want to do it. I gave you some ideas, and we'll look through those together. Uh, a little background section. So why is it, why this project and not something else? Why is it meaningful to you? This is important to skill development resources. I want you to look on the interwebs, or heaven forbid, a book that you might have, and you're carrying on any computer books. Uh, find some resources online that you think you will want to study and learn from when you do the project. I actually want you to learn some skills that I have not taught you by finding appropriate resources and learning how to use those. And so you're going to find two or three. This is a sample, so if you're doing website stuff, I put in the W3Schools link, and then I tell you, uh, tell the reader of the proposal, why do I think I'll use this resource? So those are the first sections. And the last section, I wish I had my keyboard. Last section is, or last two sections, is the workflow steps. So plan out what is it that you think you're going to have to do to accomplish your project. And then make a couple of sentence notes about areas that you think I might need to help you. So I call that the trickiest part section. Any questions on these main steps? I want you 
scroll up to Universal Work Submission Guide and click the Master Work Cloud Drive. And this is where you'll find all of our past projects and you'll upload your own project proposal. Um, let's zoom in at this a little bit. Notice that each of the directories is named to tell you what goes in there. So final project proposals is where we'll put these. And we can see I already have a student from online that has done her proposal. We can zoom in and see what she's done. Um, this is cool. So she had a really neat idea. Uh, she gave a little overview. So she wants to learn how to use um, Excel in kind of a creative way. So she wants to try to convert um, an image into a block spreadsheet. So you, have you seen those, you've probably seen those pictures online that kind of make a picture blocky. They probably have filters on your phones where they kind of make an artistic picture by choosing blocks of, of color. So she's going to try to do that with an image in Excel. She's going to try to reproduce an image, learning how to format hundreds and hundreds of cells. Which one? Universal work submission guide. Yep, if you just click right there, master cloud drive. Master cloud drive. Right there. Oh, right here. Yep. And then there's these are all the different directories that have stuff in it. So you can click final project proposals. Oh, okay. That's where you're gonna upload your proposal. So it's master the master cloud upload drive. Um, so it can be creative, it can be for a job, it can be for fun. It, Everyone is kind of approaching this class from a different angle. The point is I want you to choose a tool and carve out a project that requires learning a little bit more about that tool on your own. And I want you to practice acquiring computer skills using the foundation that we've laid in this class and not relying on me to give you step-by-step, because most of those step-by-steps are out there. You can take a look. She has two really nice resources. Uh, one's about, this was a really nice site, about why art, art and computers could blend. And then this is about how to uh, use color fills in Excel. So she did a nice job with her proposal. Uh, we can also look at some completed projects. All right, let's take a pause and jump into the interwebs here. As the in-class discussion was leading, we can look at other students' work. And we get there very simply, just the way that I would look at them, at our homepage, Computer Fundamentals. And then we've got two links down here. We have a master work cloud drive and our confirmation spreadsheet. All the work for the course is always under the master cloud drive. And then if we scan these directory lists, we'll find we can toggle this out. You can't see it. It's invisible. You'll see that this final project's complete is for the current term. And we haven't had completed final projects yet. And then if you scroll down, you can see Spring 18 North Campus CIT 115 final projects. And these are from earlier this semester, which are pretty cool. Now remember, these are zipped drives. See that little zipper there? That means that when we uh, download this file, we have to do an extra step because there's a bunch of files together. So let's say I want to look at the resume template by Michael or Best Bike for Value by Daniel. I can download that file. I'm going to open it with, um, or I can save the file. I just have to remember where I save it. So if I save it to a downloads, I save it to downloads. I'm going to make a new directory called CIT100 and save it in there. You'll need to find the location on your browser. They're often in the upper right. It's some sort of download location, and then you can actually open the folder. So because this is a zip file, I have to right click, and if you're in Windows, it'll be something like Ooh, whoa, it'll be something like extract all, like, or extract here. And then when I pop in, I can see the way this was put together. You'll see the uh, screen capture of the analysis that he did. He was learning how to use both a spreadsheet and tables to think about different motorcycles or uh, cycles or choppers. Is it a chopper? Maybe it's a chopper uh, that we can, uh, we can make for our final project. So you might have to unzip those to explore them a little bit and feel free to browse. I mean, you might find us looking, if you're interested in a spreadsheet, you could look at Spreadsheetify Your Life and take a peek at some of the interesting concepts that you might be able to build on. So this was a schedule for uh, baking. Wow, a lot. 23.25 dozen 
candies for weddings, my goodness. So this is something that you could develop into a final project if you were uh, doing a large planning effort. You, know, you could put in links to the different products. You could have one sheet for the schedule and one sheet for the recipes. You, know, you could make it into a fully baked item. So feel free to come in here and tinker around. Remember, you can always navigate back to home with that link computer fundamentals here. That brings you back to our, our very beginning. Uh, take a look at the spreadsheet examples. I've got some back from the fall. And you can even look at examples of my life in spreadsheets from about the last 15 years. You can see if you want to build on some neurotic tendency that I've uh, expressed through spreadsheets. So with that, we will finish up with a discussion with the class about their final projects. It can be a whole variety of, of different topics. Um, I, can, I have all my 115s from fall if you want to look at a few. Uh, but that's that's the overview. Questions? What are we thinking? You're thinking database. I, I changed my mind. So fast. Yeah. Not database? No, spreadsheet. Spreadsheet, okay. What other ideas are coming up? What are you going to put in your spreadsheet? Um, it's going to be an itinerary for Disney World. Oh, good. You know, we had, did you see that one, Karen? We had someone do an observational research project that was really cool. I did a screencast about it last night for my 100s. This person did a spreadsheet where they surveyed everyone that's went, gone to Disney World and asked if they went with children or not. And they actually used the spreadsheet to tally up. Look, I, this was very, this was surprising. Do the average people travel to Disney World with more, with or without children? And I thought very few people would go without children. But it turns out um, it, it's pretty close. If we zoom in, they found that the average 10.57, uh, let's see what that's an average of, without children. Did they like really do the survey? I'm not they, sure. Where, and I, also, is it young children? What helps with the ages? Yeah, with children, total children. Um, <laughs> that, that's what makes me wonder. Yeah. I've been in a million times when I wasn't a child, but I was my parents' child, which was my parents. I see, I see, yeah. Older. So that the, from the standpoint of, of specifying data, there's some stuff to expand on, but yeah. And choose something you're interested in. So you're thinking Disney? Yeah. What about it? Just like an itinerary of like your plans going there. Yeah, so you could. Like the cost of things. Uh, that's that's amazing. So what she can do for her proposal is she might even come up with a, r a rough spreadsheet with rough columns. So she might have like day, and then she might have activity, location. You know, she can think about what her columns might be as a sketch for her project. Um, so that's a neat idea. And I heard something, Kylie, about key makeup steps. Uh, that or. Something like um, a must-have shopping list yeah. of items, but it, it's hard. I don't know. Yeah, and you can develop it. You know, you might, if you want to do it in a spreadsheet, I could imagine something like, uh, if you think about a useful tool for someone, you might have different tabs, maybe for different makeup sets, maybe yeah. for like weddings or daily life or performance, and you might say like item. Uh, min price, max price, right. notes, you know, design, like preferred store. Yeah. You could, you could come up with a really nice data sheet that you could build on, you know, as you use it to, to as assemble your own sets and stuff like that. So that's cool. Something that she's interested in, that she cares about the data. That's important. Right. Ideas on this side of the room. I'm changing I'm thinking. What, what was that her called? What was that big type of uh, project? Like a spreadsheet project? That would be like a spreadsheet. Well, that's mine, I think, but I'm kind of stuck on here anyway. Yeah. I'll... But I was thinking about, uh, like, just going to the local store, McDonald's, like, mall, shoe store, pants, grocery store, some kind of store, and shopping. And record, you can record all sorts of interesting and data. And what I need to add up my day and what I need to... Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I would say focus on, because uh, you did that nice build with the work order. Yeah. Like if you could make uh, almost a real price list for a job that you want to do maybe around your house yeah. or for someone else, and we can work on getting it formatted. But look, what I have to go like, 
the store and get the prices or something? Yeah, you can go to the store, you can make the spreadsheet to print out and you can actually write it down in the store. We can work on that together. I mean, what, would, what would that be, the spreadsheet? It would be a spreadsheet project, yeah. Okay, okay. And so tonight we can, uh, we can plan it out and then next week we have work time. So maybe we actually want to go to a store. Oh, we have one day work time. Yeah, next week is work time on the project. Oh, so okay. we're planning it out tonight. You can get your legwork done, and if you come tomorrow with something done, you know you can. We can work through it for a couple of hours, and I can help you. Um, and we can. Uh, some of you could get it buttoned up by the end of next week, and then you can just do some polishing for the final. Um, so I like that idea of a job-based shopping list. Um, you know, and you can use Excel formulas to calculate, say, the price per foot of a board. You can do some interesting things with the formulas. Cool. Sir Mountain. Yes. I'll Thoughts? Continue my web page. Uh, oh, good. Uh, That's really cool. Yes. You should be sure to show Karen your your. He works on the fire crew for Oakdale. Yes. He's got lots of great pictures. Yes. Jarrett. I have no idea what to do. Actually, uh, you you your your projects <laughs> uh, have been uh, very different. You had that your bid was all about you know, that kickboxing retreat, and then you made a meal database. <laughs> And your website was about, what did you put it? Like your, your professional website. Yeah, that's an option to develop. Um, that's cool. Karen, what are you thinking? Were we talking baking on the phone? Yeah. I'm just going to the class now. Okay. She's observing. She's with us. She's, she's in, the full, in the fold. She's come out of the interwebs. Oh, okay, okay. So she may come back next week, maybe not. Who knows? Um, she's at least here tonight to soak up real live CIT okay. 100. Okay. Yeah. Um, good. Uh, so those are all great projects to develop.